Hey all. So, we are just over a year of having Nintendo Switch online. And I don't know if if it's really been worth it. Now, of course, I'm going to pay for my online service anyway because I play a lot of online games. I need to have that that connection, but what we get back from Nintendo at the moment has just been the umpteen NES games and now the SNES games are and I'm very pleased about having SNES games but we haven't had an update on the SNES games since they dropped the SNES uh, online package and I don't know why like is that because they've gone away and they started on the N64 one or is that just because they no longer can commit developers to building out and converting these games over I'm not entirely sure it is a bit disappointing there. Uh, Price-wise, I still think the price is great compared to anybody else's online. But since Nintendo insists continually on producing PvP um, online connection, uh, not PvP, P2P, sorry, P2P connections, um, I don't, I can't see what we're paying for. I, okay, we get the cloud says it's not on every game. Okay, fine. Some games can't really do that, but if you're going to do peer-to-peer -peer connections, then we're obviously not maintaining much of a server. To be honest, you could have a single server maintaining most of these games because you just need the connections, and the connection logic is still failing a little bit because you're not you're not getting connected to people with similar ping. Um, you're not getting connected to people near you um as a guarantee so you get lag and the lag sucks let's be honest the lag really sucks one big change that needs to happen in games like smash brothers is that we need to have ping matching check the ping matches with the same ping check the location matches with the locations it will give us a better experience okay i'm not going to get the chance to fight off against japanese and american players all that often but you know what? I would I don't mind that for performant online experiences without lag. I really don't mind that. Boxes in, it's fine. Just so that we don't have to deal with lag, because lag sucks. Otherwise, what you're going to have to do, Nintendo, and for some of these games it does not make sense, but what you would end up having to do is to move to a server-based concept. The player to server piece exists so heavily even though it's not actually the best solution for these kind of games because you cannot guarantee people's internet and you cannot guarantee people understanding what they need to have good online experiences you can't expect the average um, gamer to know that they need to have pings that are down at the 30 milliseconds to really be uh, having a decent online experience and anything above that ruins it for everybody else. They're not going to know that. They're going. They're not even going to know how to check that. So, you know, you you by making these decisions, it ruins our experience. The uh, the download speeds are meaningless when it comes to online play. It's your upload speed. If you are playing with an upload speed of one megabit per second, then everybody is only able to communicate to you as fast as one megabit per second. Now, one of the good things that Nintendo does with their player-to-player -player service is they work out who has the slowest upload speed and they become the server. So at least everybody gets locked down to that kind of speed. But if you're playing with such slow upload speeds, again, you shouldn't be online on a Nintendo on the Nintendo Online at the moment. So again, um, I think it's it's vital that Nintendo starts to consider um, improving the online part, what they really should do is script up a standard um, piece of code which they can share around as a standard library that searches and matches players based on their ping and their upload speeds um, so that the lagging can start to disappear. And we should have an option in all of the games if um, to scope out for more players to scope out for different pings 
with the knowledge then that I've experienced will be poor um, compared to the default. Um, anyway, that's my rant over. Uh, I do think it's going to get better. I do think Nintendo is moving in the right direction. I just don't think it's fast enough right now. Um, so yeah, rant over. Comments below. Are you a Nintendo Switch player? What are your issues with Nintendo Online? Do you happen to be subscribing to it like the rest of us with the annual fees? How annoyed or happy are you with the service? Anyway, that's it for today. Thank you for listening to a geeky rant. And until next time, keep it geeky.